What it do, baby? What it do, baby? Yeah, yo, what do you know? In this video, I want to point towards one of the reasons why the Elf City hasn't picked up like it was expected to. With the new quest that unlocks the city, we got this new crystal chest. To open the chest, you need an enhanced crystal key. This can be made at a singing bowl with a normal key and 10 shards. Now there's a bunch of ways to get the shards. You can farm crystal trees, you can do gauntlet, you can do Solcano, etc. Sears made a video on all the methods used to gather shards, so I'll leave a link for that in the description. Now I do personally believe that this chest might be the most underwhelming part of the new quest. Most people already know that gauntlet loot is nothing short of garbage, but at least the new sword unique adds some value to doing gauntlet. The chest on the other hand has no similar upside even with the onyx and the cosmetic armor. The obvious problem comes from the fact that each chest needs 10 shards, and since shard gathering is so slow, it adds approximately 150k to the profit you are earning when gathering the shards. Since an unexpectedly high amount of time is spent upgrading each key in terms of getting the shards, there has been a significant crash in the price of the crystal key. As you see here, just prior to the quest release, keys were trending towards 28k each. Yet approximately 10 days later, the keys are down to 18k each. But that's not all. The price is so low that it has gotten to the point where opening the old chest in Taverly has become profitable, which is absurd. Now before I rant on the rewards from the chest, I advise you to check the description for the full drop table. First, I want to note that when the chest was originally pulled, armor was the first potential reward they advertised. Yet in the drop table and based on this opening, the only armor you are likely to receive is rune legs. Runes were the second thing to be cited, yet the 5 stacks of runes also appears to be uncommon as I got it just once in 65 chests. This suggests that the way they listed the possible rewards you get from the chest is somewhat misleading. As for what I received across 65 chests with no onyxes, dragon legs or dragonstone armor, I averaged a profit per key of 33.8k. Most commonly at a rate of just over 32% I get either a 2 for a loop path with some GP. I'd expect that 40% of the chests you open will contain either a tooth, a loop, or a full key. The best loot outside of the unique armor, dragon armor, and onyx at current prices appears to be gold ore, which I received twice. In total, across the 65 chests I opened, I received just over 3.5 mil. After selling all of these items, I received just a tad less than that at 3.44 mil. So to summarize, if you want to find utility for your crystal shards, you should make divine potions if you are trying to make money, or use the shards for tools, armor, or the new sword if making money isn't the primary goal. Thanks for watching.